Again, good morning, everyone. As we proceed day after day toward the summer season, it gets a little bit, um, it's, it's the weather is up and down, but gradually it gets warmer. The warmth of the good, the love of the Lord who is with us. And so we begin with the Acts of the Apostles on this, this Sunday, chapter 6, verses 1 to 7. Among the early Christians, there was a favoritism that sprang up naturally in the community in Jerusalem, where all goods were held in common without any private ownership. To be more generous in the distribution of goods to those who were more Hebrew than those who were more had a more Greek-speaking background. As a settlement, deacons were chosen to serve the more physical, material needs in the community in order to allow others to devote themselves more fully to the spiritual needs. The Word of God continued to spread, and the, word, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The spirit of Pentecost was very productive. In our third reading, John chapter 14, verses 1 to 12, the apostles were feeling lost at the pro <clears throat> pardon me. <coughs> were feeling lost at the prospect of not having Jesus physically present with them. Jesus calls upon them to trust in him to get the job done. As they were with him on earth, they will be with him in heaven. In the physical world, the way to go is marked physically with road markers. In the spiritual world, the way to go is living one's life daily in Christ. Jesus was saying to Philip that we recognize God's presence in our everyday human smallness. Our God is right here, loving us, present to us. In our second reading, first letter of Peter, chapter 2, verses 4 to 9, recognizable only to the eyes that perceive what is spiritual. We can be seen in this world to be living in God, in God's, uh, in the same house where God lives. We are are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that we may announce the praises of him who called us out of darkness into his own wonderful light. We know we are God's people because we live in it as his each and every day with him in our very midst. 